Ross, not the debut that you probably wanted to make this afternoon? No, of course not, you know, I want to go off to winning ways, but, you know, it's football, can't always be perfect, but, you know, we can take positives from it, I know it's not all good, but, you know, we move on, we build for next week. Two, two, coming back from two goals down to 2-2, two, two, did you feel, was there a feeling within the team at that point that you could go on and... And win it and do but something? Definitely. You know, when that second goal went in, the crowd got behind us, you know, the momentum was with us. And I thought we were going to do it, but, you know, just, you know, a slight goal to concede, especially in the last ten minutes. You know, the worst case scenario, we should be coming out of that game with a draw. Baptism fire for you, Julie, today? Ah, <laughs> 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 yeah, we've got to fair. I quite enjoyed it. You know, it was, it was good to get back out there playing again. You know, that was the main thing for me coming here, getting game time and, you know, and hopefully we can get our first win next week. I was going to say that to you. What, was that the attraction of coming here? Was it to be able to play first team football regularly? Definitely, you know, and I found out that was to go out and loan, you know, the Gaffer and Sandy, you know, they spoke to me and says, you know, you come here and you, you'll get first team football, and that's all I want to do right now. You know, I'm at the stage of my career, I'm 24 now. I just want to get as many games under my belt as I can, and uh, hopefully I can get to that here. Bit of a swap with Robbie McCrory going from yeah. here to, to, to Livingston. So, did you speak? Pass crossing, did you speak in the way? Yeah, it was a very strange one. Yeah, to be fair, um, uh, when I found out Tuesday, I was in training with Livingston. So I met Robbie and I spoke to him a couple of times. And we trained together just the one day. So, And then I was on the bench for them on the Wednesday. So, yeah, I spoke to him a couple of times. You got, you were, you had a start with Livy mm-hmm. at the beginning of the season. You were in the team and mm-hmm. things just didn't really work out for you, I guess. Yeah, you know, I started, started the season, we started uh, quite well. You know, I, People say otherwise, but I felt like it was, uh, I didn't deserve to get put out. But, you know, like I said, that's football. And uh, I'm here now, and my main focus is, is trying to get us into the playoffs. It was obviously a, a disappointing result this afternoon, and then obviously dropping yeah. down and Aloha being allowed to move in. That, does mm-hmm. it put a bit more pressure on the side now? Not really. I don't think we kind of look at the league table. Of course, we want to get as many wins as we can, but if we look at that, you know, that'll probably put a little bit more pressure on us. I think we've just got to take it game by game. You know, like Dunfermline next week, if we we win that, you know, we push ourselves right back up in there. So fair enough, I watched them last night, I don't know whether you saw the yeah. game or not, but it certainly looked as though they deserved to win that. Yeah, definitely, no, they're a very good side. Um, <laughs> they didn't let Dundee play. Uh, we know it's going to be a tough game when they come here, and, you know, we need to be a little bit more tighter, a little bit more sharper and, you know, clinical in front of when they come. You'll have had another week, if you like, in with the boys and then starting to, to gel a bit. Yeah, with I know a few of the boys feet. anyway, and I've uh, played very... Uh, Dan Brown leading that when I was at Mullow you know, a couple of the boys through Scotland service and just playing against them and stuff like that so uh, the boys have made me feel really welcome Good, great, well, welcome to Queen of the South Thank you Thank Thanks you so